You might want to sit down for this video because Project Blue Beam is a hot topic of discussion right now. The earthquakes, the UFOs, the shutdowns of the UFOs, the aliens. You're probably hearing a lot of news right now and you are also hearing about Project Blue Beam. Now this is a conspiracy that was leaked years and years ago back in the 90s. You're gonna learn everything there is to it but I want to play this video because this is very important. If he can do this, just imagine what Project Blue Beam can do. This is just one man designing and for the rookies in simple language, we're gonna get to the dark stuff in just a little bit. So drop a thumbs up because they don't want you seeing this here, guys. And I feel like that most people, people deserve to know about this. People deserve to hear this because this is just one guy doing this with the technology. Imagine what the military got. What? Imagine what they have behind the scenes at like Area 51 and, and stuff like that, okay? This is just one man and for the rookies, Project Blue Beam is essentially gonna be a fake alien invasion and they're gonna make you believe certain things that are not real. That's the conspiracy of Project Blue Beam. And when you think about it, when if you show this video to your parents, if they're especially if they're boomers, uh, if you show this to your ancestors, they're gonna probably believe that this is CGI or this is really happening in real life. But you gotta understand that this is what Project Blue Beam is. This is their plan. If you're on the internet, well, you know, most of the videos you see are fake. And the chances are you're gonna question. But are our parents gonna question? Are our ancestors gonna question? Probably not. And this is why I wanna play you this video. Check this out. Now, the conspiracy theory that I'm gonna be talking about today is called Project Blue Beam. Now, if you don't know what Project Blue Beam is, it's a conspiracy theory that came from a man named Serge Monast. Mm -hmm. He released a manifesto in 1994 that explained what was going to happen in the future here on Earth. Project Blue Beam is apparently a four-step project that was created by NASA and the United Nations to Force allow out. the elite to create a simulated new religion that will be the only religion on Earth because all the others will be abolished after they project holograms into the sky to stage a quote unquote second coming of Christ illusion that will make everyone believe that it's real and they will oh, have shit. to join. This is where the Antichrist will lead this new religion and to start the new world order. Now the first step of Project Blue what, what if it sounds like a fairy tale to you, to if not? Beam is to create fake earthquakes and other quote unquote Damn. natural disasters that will now you gotta understand this this video was made before the turkey earthquakes okay like let me tell oh, you shit. Eh? Oh, shit. and this uh theory and conspiracy has uh, obviously happened back in the 90s by that man that apparently passed away from unnatural causes the the story is very dark and uh it's kind of like fantasy but but also is quite dark and a lot of similarities are now coming true, especially with technology like this. Unearth relics and so-called evidence that will trick people into thinking that everyone on Earth has been mistaking religion for something else. And with Bruh. this so-called hoax artifacts, it will then shut down and disprove all religions on Earth. Now these quote unquote earthquakes will take place in certain locations around the world to make it more authentic. If you don't already know, Hollywood has been cre- uh, did it? Okay, I'm not sure. It, did it happen in Egypt? I believe it was Syria and Turkey only, right? Creating movies for years about uncovering relics and basically yep. desensitizing us yep. to certain things. So when they happen in- I have been talking about this for a very long time as well, guys. Like the movies are a great way to desensitize, desensitize people. And a lot of people, we have seen the Marvel movies, right? You have seen Marvel movies. They're worldwide, especially like Avengers Endgame, the Infinity War. We've seen a lot of that. And a lot of people, whenever they reveal or if stuff like this happens, because right now, in the very middle it's good to hear the conspiracy it's good to hear the opposite side but you should not believe everything even though if it's like completely crazy like what project blue beam is you should not be 100 percent believing but you should be open to the possibility of what if because we have that technology that's uh, the crazy part because this was leaked and the, the conspiracy has been going for 30 years almost but now stuff like that uh, and it was leaked but now stuff like that is coming true real life 
we will be supposedly more understanding and think it's just normal. Yep. Now step two would see the best theater and light production show you will ever see in your life and it will be I, I know i'm pausing here but guys this is important i'll play you this i had all these videos uh, opened up because i want to show you okay, check this. Hoax to scare us into giving up our freedoms and security um and they'll protect us as long as we release our freedoms and our rights um and they'll have more control I mean, like, uh, uh, do not believe everything you hear, but behind the scenes, you gotta understand, like, we're, we're talking military here, they are light years ahead. Usually, and generally speaking, they release technology to the public 10, 20 years later, okay? That's kind of like the, the usual, okay? Whatever the military has right now, they will release that to the public 10, 20 years later, and surely there would be a lot of stuff that they will never release, or they might release it 30, 50 years later. You, you get the idea, right? Like, what they have now, it's far superior to what the public has seen or have. Beamed into the sky using highly powerful technology to create holograms production show you will ever see in your life and it will be beamed into the sky using highly powerful technology to create holograms and 3d images it will show everyone yep, all one. the religious gods example buddha jesus muhammad etc merging into one almighty quote unquote god damn Apparently, space-based projectors will be able to beam all this around the world and in all languages. Then this new god will talk to everybody. Uh, uh, listen, man, the, the uh, situation here is that most religions do believe in the second coming of Jesus. Uh, and uh, that's kind of like the conspiracy that they're going to do. And a lot of the weak, uh, weak-minded weak people, they will fall for it. If this is real, though, if this is real, you got to understand, this is still a conspiracy. And in this day and age, I feel like that a lot of people are uh, know about this. So I don't think their plan would work. There has to be some things that, that would have might have changed because we're talking... 30 years, 30 years, though there's a lot of stuff that will change that we might not know if this is real. I'm only saying if this is real. It's good to listen to it uh, if you love the conspiracies, but do not believe everything, but also be, uh, but be open to the possibility. Over, all over the earth at the same time. So get your blankets, pack a dinner or lunch, depending on where you- Hide your wives, man. Hide your kids, hide your wives, guys. Where in the world. Get some popcorn, drinks, and sit back to enjoy a cinematic experience that will never be seen again. And Damn. sorry, Hugh Jackman, but it appears that this will be the greatest show on Earth. Bruh. The third step is now where they will implement mind control. Oh, Telepathy shiza. will be apparently used to convince everyone that the voice is talking to them, God's voice, from inside their own minds. Mm. This will be achieved by a wave that a telephonic communication device will project. They will take control of devices, for example, PCs, phone lines through optic cables and coaxial cables to create poltergeist activity and satanic ghosts in your own home or in your own environment to send people to suicide, murders oh, and shit. psychosis. Oh, this will be like a purge. And finally, step four will be the panic of everyone on earth and this will create fear to then control mm, okay F first of all uh, uh pump the brakes okay guys I, I want your honest take on this one one if you, if it sounds believable two if not a lot of the stuff though especially this is something that 30 years ago right uh if you're in if you're like 50 or 60 year old person watching this video I need your honest thoughts on this one. If you were alive back then, when this conspiracy came out, and you heard about it, what were your thoughts then versus now? Because I feel like that if you were not buying into this one, totally understandable. If you're not buying into this even now, totally understandable. We should not believe everything. We should just be open to the possibility, and after all, it's a conspiracy. If you're open to the idea, then if this happens hopefully not but if this happens you're gonna be aware and this might actually fail which is something would be beautiful okay like uh, this this should not go through right 
But if this is a fake conspiracy, well, nobody cares, right? Like, you enjoy the conspiracy and that's it. It's not gonna harm anybody if it's just fake. But 30 years ago versus now, I would like to believe if you heard about this conspiracy back then, you're not gonna, you were not gonna believe then. But now, just looking at the technology, how fast we have advanced with, with AI algorithms running everything, man, everything on social media and everything. So this is why I'm saying, you hit the bell, hit subscribe, to smash a like button so more people can see. But the, the freaky part is this technology, the fact that they're able to do this in a live stadium like that, that is crazy and it's looking real with the reflections and everything like that right crazy stuff man troll the entire earth by staging such things as alien invasions with said holograms to just freak people the fuck out and then mm. the antichrist and new world order will be the only ones that will save us from damnation as yeah she's a great artist man great video so far w video man w video they will claim monast even said that they would have a financial crash that will then enable the powers to be to take away cash money physical cash money and install their own electronic cash system now let's delve into surge money let's be real right money is becoming digital uh yeah paper is losing value uh and we're seeing that happen in a way it's good in a way it's bad it depends on how you view that i mean i use money digitally all the time uh, like whenever you're buying something you're using credit card uh, credit card it's just efficient so there are certain things that are not objectively bad but yeah but 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 the message behind this one is getting rid of money and financial crash and all of that stuff uh th that is obviously gonna mess people up for sure if that happens for sure Just a little bit in a nutshell now monast was an active member of the social credit party in canada in the 70s and 80s and in the 90s started coming up with the new world order conspiracy he stated that the new world order was nothing more than satanic it is not just a crazy paranoid delusion and that the elites are planning a one world identity for all. He mm -hmm. founded Free Press Agency, which is where he started publishing theories about the New World Order. He also suggested that the New World Order had tried to be implemented several times before, but has failed. Around yeah, I, I guess this is something that we can all agree on. There has been so much stuff that they're trying to push and uh, to a certain extent, some probably did work, but most of it, the majority probably did not. I guess internet, the internet is a great tool, man. We gotta, everybody, we gotta come together as one, okay? And I feel like that you, you should share this video, you should get everybody aware. I'm not saying that you should believe into this one, I'm just saying, just be open to the possibility. And enjoy the, 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 the conspiracy, right? If it turns out true, then, oh, shiza! Uh, but if it, if it's fake, then it's fake, right? But if it turns out true, then you're at least gonna be aware. And uh, if more people know about it, then I feel like that it's not gonna work out. Because if you look at the hashtags, aliens, UFOs trending, but alongside that, Project Bluebeam is trending. There is a reason for it, and most people are not buying, which is a good thing, right? You should be you should be skeptical. You should always look both ways, but also do not become that skeptical where you're just hundred percent believing on Project Bluebeam. That's also unhealthy. That's also not the uh, the best way because if you're always gonna believe that that's like that's that's not helping you either right because uh, Yeah, because I personally do believe in aliens I do think that eventually we're gonna have contact and I really hope that happens But if that happens and when that happens are you gonna be like that nah, that's fake that's fake that's project bluebeam imagine it's not project bluebeam right that's that's my whole point but it can be though that's my uh, another point as well it's Bruh. you should be 50 50 with this situation you should not dismiss it but you should not fully accept it okay around 1995 to 1996 monast was allegedly wanted by the authorities because of being involved in a quote-unquote networks of prohibited information Apparently, his two kids that he homeschooled were taken away and put oh, into the education system. Oh, shit, and oh, some shit. theories even say that his kids were never seen again. Monas died in December of 1996 at the age of 51 of a heart attack, but his death was reigned in suspicion due to being in jail the night before. Damn. 
Apparently Montast had no record of a bad heart and was healthy, so theories floated around that the Project Bluebeam group, mm. having the technology to give people artificial heart attacks to kill a healthy person. So and, and I guess in recent memory, I'm sure you can think of at least one person that this kind of happened to. At least one person. Obviously, I'm not going to name names here, but, but I guess you have heard stories, you have seen. They surely do have technology like that. Brad, that is... Uh, Brad. That is definitely a brat moment. It, it's dark stuff, man. It is dark stuff. His death was speculated to be murder. Now that you have let that information absorb and sink in, what do you think? Mm. Do you think that this theory is plausible? Now uh, yeah, it, it's, it's tough, right? Because it, it can be. Honestly, it can be plausible because this is a project blue beam is something that we have been hearing for for decades it's more relevant now if any time this has been relevant then it is now if a single person can look at look at this guy right just playing with his phone and just doing this stuff right if one guy can do this and, and this is in public domain and if one guy can if one guy can do this guys like you gotta think this way right the military is advanced what else they cannot do and if you believe in bob lazar if you believe in aliens uh if you believe in the fact that we already acquired their technology then it makes a whole lot of sense it does right but is it gonna happen and is it gonna succeed i don't know man it's likely gonna if they were to do it they're probably gonna succeed with people with old people no disrespect to old people uh, obviously uh but the the my my point here is that the reason it can work with old people is because they're they're highly susceptible okay recently my dad i'm gonna give you a personal story okay so recently my dad he saw a laptop on facebook okay it was saying that you can buy it for 30 dollars and it was an ad on facebook said best buy i he showed me he was like bro buy me this right now right now should i put my credit card i was like this is fake i saw it i looked at it two seconds later i knew it was fake because they photoshop the the price on the ad it was the price the photo was legit but they photoshopped the price and did a facebook ad uh, and it was fake. It was a scam. So my whole point is that old people, no disrespect again, but old people are going to be very susceptible to this one. They are going to be the first ones to believe. And if you believe in religion, which is a good thing, I believe in, uh, I'm Muslim, so I believe as well. Uh, and that's, that's, a, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, That's not a bad thing. They're trying to push the agenda that if you are Christian, Muslim, or if you follow God, it, that's a bad thing. That's the agenda they're trying to push. And do not believe into that. My, but my point is that if you're religious and if you're old, it's gonna be damn near impossible for you to not fall into the trap if this were to happen. So my point here is that, guys, be open to the idea. Uh, share this video. And yeah, man, just hope for the best, man. Prepare for the worst. Now, what I have learned in history is that if someone is targeted and is killed in a sort of suspicious way, I do believe that they were onto something. Mm, yeah, yeah. But a lot of documentation is being publicly released and that seems to be a little bit sus in itself. Sometimes I do believe that the government does have an agenda in releasing certain documentation, whether it's... Maybe the cat is already out of the bag, so... And there's a lot of skepticism, so maybe they released it because they don't want people to believe it. And they're like, you see, like, we released it, we released it, it was not us, you know? It, it could be one of those things, or maybe they genuinely didn't did anything. Guys, we didn't do it this time! We didn't do it this time! They are They're lying to you, okay? Do not believe it, the, 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 the conspiracies, they're lying. I mean, it's not always the government's fault, but most of the time it certainly is. Falsified or it is true, because I believe that they do that on purpose to then uh, make us think that they're going in this particular direction and then they go, oh no, we, are, we would never do this. And then they would appear to be, you know, good Samaritans and uh, yeah, it'd be that'd be an illusion as well. Mm. But I, I do believe that um, you know something's going on, and 2023 is going to be very interesting. 
Now, if this was something that was going to happen um, and they did beam this sort of stuff into the sky, I personally would not believe it. I would still want more proof that uh, yep. we are, you know, we are being invaded or, or this so-called god is real. I... And, and this video came out a month ago and this conspiracy is years old and uh, recently they're shooting down the, the UFOs. Uh, they, are, they recently came out and they said that uh, those are just weather balloons, but the US general is saying that it's not. Some pilots are saying that the, the UFO they shot down was uh, manipulating their radar system and some stuff like that. That's not the exact quote I'm paraphrasing. But he said similar stuff, so it is uh, definitely suspect. And Pentagon already released footage of the real UFOs, that's what they claim. And the Pentagon also officially did confirm that they have acquired unearthly vehicles that did not originate on the face of this planet. They did confirm that. If you do not believe, you can actually Google unearthly vehicles, uh, Pentagon. So they already confirmed stuff like that uh, as well. So they have that stuff, man. I still would not believe it because after the three years of this complete clusterfuck of absolute fuckery, I don't believe anything. But tell me what you think. Tell yep. me, do you think if this conspiracy is feasible? Uh, have you? Ladies and gentlemen, they recently saw, uh, found a, a UFO that was uh, gathering energy from the sun. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left. Check these videos out, guys. They don't want you seeing that stuff, and I will see you right there.